everybody to Career Expo 2021. My name is Kasnagara. I'm the, the Director of College Success for Fulfillment Fund. Super excited to have every single one of you here. We have some amazing presentations, some amazing volunteers um, and, and facilitators for you today. Really excited to bring all these great career readiness workshops for all of you. Super excited for that. Um, before we get started, um, just want to thank all our sponsors. I um, want to thank SoCal Gas, Capital Group, Sony Pictures Entertainment, Elephant, and LADWP. Thank you for your gracious and continued support. This workshop, this amazing event would not be possible without your help. So thank you so much for that. Uh, so students, thank you so much for joining us. We have amazing workshops from networking to resume prep to owning your awesomeness to five amazing career panels ready to help you prepare for life after college. So we're really excited for all this. Um, I want to announce our four early bird raffle winners. For those of you that were registered before our early bird registration, we'll start with you. So drum roll, please. Congratulations to Edith Portillo, Yanisi Yampe. Jordan Buckner and Jacqueline Bettis. You are our four early bird uh, gift card winners, recipients of $50 gift cards to your Amazon or Target. Congratulations. We will be uh, sure to reach out to you after so you can claim your gift card. And we have 15 more gift cards to be raffled throughout the event. Every time you complete a survey, you entered for an opportunity to win a gift card. Um, and we will also be raffling towards the end. So make sure that you continue to join us for uh, these amazing prizes that you will be getting. So without further ado, I want to introduce your keynote speaker for Career Expo. Uh, his name is Jonathan Franklin. Jonathan Franklin was an all-star running back for UCLA. He played for the Green Bay Packers. He's currently the director of social justice and football development for the LA Rams. And what he does is he uses the power of football as a platform to address educational equities, uh, youth justice, and to reassure that all members of the community can rise to prosperity, while providing hope where it does not exist and maintaining it where it does. Um, on top of that, Jonathan Franklin is an amazing person and amazing speaker. Welcome, Jonathan Franklin. Gus, thank you. Thank you so much. It's, it's an honor to be here. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, thank you so much for having me here on Zoom. Wish I was with you all in person, but I will say that for another time. You know, as I reflect on if I was in your shoes, what would it help me and what what I wish someone shared with me back then is the importance of perspective. You know, I'm a young man from South LA who had an opportunity to set a goal of playing in the NFL at 10 years old. And that journey included attending Dorsey High School, UCLA, becoming a political science major, graduated in honors, and as a student athlete, breaking and still holding four records at UCLA, one being an all-time leading rusher. I was drafted by the Green Bay Packer, Packers, which included breaking a record for the most yards in a game by a rookie in Green Bay Packer history. I was living my dream. Then I recall Green Bay Packers, Minnesota Vikings, first play the game. The ball was kicked and I catch it and I begin to run. And shortly after I'm hit on the crown of my helmet, the ball comes out and I'm staring at the ball on the ground and tipping to move, but I was instantly paralyzed from my neck down. Shortly after, I was forced to medically retire from the NFL. Life happened. I was never able to play football again. I had a dream, and at the time, my purpose was taken away. I'll share the in-between with you another day in regards to what led me to the Rams, but I want to talk about the perspective that helped me get to where I am today. And it all has to do with a lion and a lemon. You see, when you think about the lion, uh, the lion is the king of the jungle. When the lion comes around, every animal flees. It's dominant, it's feared. And it's interesting because the lion is not the biggest animal in the jungle as the elephant is. It's not the fastest, the cheetah. It is not the tallest, that would be the giraffe. And there was a list put out of the top 10 strongest animals and the lion was not on that list. But yet, as we know, the lion is the king of the jungle. How so? It's not the best at anything. Well, for starters, the lion never compares itself to the giraffe, the cheetah, the elephant, or the animals that are stronger. The lion just focuses on the strength that it has, and it's enough to conquer everything that's in front of it. The lion focuses on being a lion. And today I want to encourage you that you're enough. Comparison is the thief of joy. 
And I want you to know the journey that you're on is the best journey for you, regardless of circumstances, talents, abilities, rankings, setbacks, you are enough to conquer what's in front of you. The person you see in the mirror will lead you towards success. And secondly, the lemon. You see, I was in a class one, once upon a time and a teacher had a lemon on the table. And with this lemon, she asked a series of questions. The first one was, what do you use lemons for? Well, one was, was for lemonade for garbage disposal, to glisten their hair, someone else says. A few people in the class was answering these questions. The second question was, where do lemons come from? I was like, well, a lemon tree, duh. Someone else said the Mediterranean. And another individual says 60% of lemons come from Argentina. Then she asked the final question. She said, what are the issues behind lemons? It was citrus cancer, it was canker, it was produce. And it was this immense list of issues about lemons. And in my mind, I'm thinking all this over a lemon. But the power of this activity was to challenge everyone in the class to look just beyond the, look beyond the obvious. It was never just about the lemon that we saw, but it was understanding there is much more depth to what appears to be. There were so many different layers to the lemon. And I had to ask myself, what else in my life do I fail to look beyond the obvious in and see the true worth and value? Regarding my friends, are there just people that I have a good time with? Are they a group of individuals that I can gain advice from? That they challenge my perspective? Do they encourage me to be vulnerable and help me mature? Regarding my time, do I compromise with hours of social media and Netflix, texting? Or am I educating myself by reading books or training myself to become a subject matter expert in a particular field? And as when I look in the mirror, I ask myself, who do I see? Do I see a man of failures from the past? Things that I don't feel I can change? Hurt that's causing me to view people from a certain lens? Are my embracing lessons, living in forgiveness, learning empathy, compassion, and redefining myself every chance I get? Today, you have an opportunity to choose how you view these upcoming moments. And I encourage you to manage your moments today in order to be the best version of yourself. We as people, we are what we repeatedly do. Therefore, our success is not a path we take, but defined by the habits we form. Every choice we make leads to us creating who we are and ultimately writing the story of our lives that we will be remembered by forever. So I encourage you all to grasp as much as you can today to help the journey of perseverance, networking, and building for your future. Every moment starting right now is prepping your future. I wanna thank so much the Fulfillment Fund for allowing me to be here. Enjoy the day, go Rams. Thank you so much, Jonathan, for that inspiring speech, right? Be your own king of the jungle. That was amazing. We really appreciate you so much. Let's give a virtual round of applause to Jonathan Franklin. We appreciate you so much. So like Jonathan mentioned, this is the beginning of your journey. Um, and success is going to be defined by the choices and the decisions you make moving forward. Uh, we are really excited for the remaining webinars and events that we have for you. So for the next one, it will start at 420 and you have two choices between networking. It's about who you know and what do I put on my resume? Please make sure to attend all your webinars. We're super excited. Make sure to attend the webinars and the closing ceremony as well. Good luck, everybody, and we will see you at the upcoming uh, sessions. Thank you so much.